In this lesson, we're going to go over the anterior Chavin's points, and unfortunately, this is another memorization lesson. Now, the typical way to learn this stuff is to draw out a huge chart and just have you memorize it, but instead, I'm going to use a technique that worked for me. I didn't come up with this technique, but it was shown to me as a way to draw out all of these anterior points, and it just stuck in my head. So I'm going to teach it to you and hope that it helps you on your exams. Now, what is a Chapman's point? It's a two to three millimeter papule that represents some sort of viscerosomatic reflex. Typically, these Chapman's points are used to aid in diagnosis of some sort of dysfunction. So on your exams and in clinical practice, the Chapman's points are gonna pop up to aid in your diagnosis. So the whole goal of this lecture is for you to understand where these points are and what organ systems they represent. So to start out with, we're gonna draw out how I like to memorize the anterior Chapman's points locations. So first, we're gonna start with some clavicles. Then we're gonna draw out 12 ribs. We're gonna draw the sternum down the middle. And this is gonna represent an anterior view of the sternum, the ribs, and the clavicles. Next, we're gonna number these ribs. Now this is where some of the memorization really comes in, but just try and get an idea of where all of these points are so that when you're taking the exam, you can quickly draw out this picture. So there's gonna be one up here on the clavicle. There's gonna be five along the first and second rib. You're going to move over to this side. You're gonna draw one here, skip two, draw three here, and then draw dots going all the way up. So these are your locations. What exactly does this mean? This one on the right clavicle will represent your ear. Chapman's point. This one is going to represent your nose. This one will be your pharynx. This one will be your sinuses. This one is your larynx and your tongue. And this final one will represent your tonsils. Now working your way down, this will represent the heart, while this side will represent the thyroid, bronchus, esophagus, and the myocardium. So kind of think about it where heart and myocardium are beside each other. Moving down on this left side, you have stomach acid, stomach motility, you have your spleen, then moving over to the right side and going upward, we have pancreas, your liver, and gallbladder, your liver alone, your lower lung, and your upper lung. So kind of difficult to memorize. Just keep drawing this out. Try and memorize where exactly the points are and this will really help you out. When you're taking just a general look at this from an anterior point of view, most of these kind of make sense, right? Like the heart is located up here in the rib cage, the stomach is about in the middle, the liver is usually on top of where the gallbladder is, the pancreas and spleen are kind of in that area too. So kind of think of it in terms of anatomical location, but there are always exceptions to the rule. So the next points that we're gonna have are going to be out laterally on both sides. And these are gonna represent your small intestines. You are also going to have a singular point that hangs off of rib 12 on the right at the tip, and this is going to be your appendix. So that's enough for this picture. We'll go ahead and draw out the rest of them that are located on different portions of the body. 
This is going to represent your umbilicus, one inch lateral and one inch superior. You're going to have a point that represents the kidney. Going back to the umbilicus, one inch lateral.